So today we are from Mombasa, Kenya. We have the Mombasa Chess Championship Open, which is a uh, which has started today, October 20th. We have had various players uh, from South Sudan, Kenya, Uganda, Somalia, and other countries around uh, Africa and also the world. So we have this uh, game uh, between Magana with on white. Magana is a is a Kenyan chess giant, uh, multiple times champion. He's a very good man, a humble guy, against Kennedy Trevor. This was an amazing game with uh, amazing stuff. So we have the game here before us. Uh, this is the game Magana in white, Ben, and a candidate master, and also Kennedy Trevor in black. So the game kicks off with E4, a standard move, and we then have C6, which is the Karakan, Karakan defense. So we have knight to c3, a standard uh, position, of course, intending for the setup. Then we have d5, which is the common response in the Karakan. And then we have the two knights attack. Very standard, very expected, very solid. We have a big video about this uh, system. Uh, please feel free to check the description be below for the playlist uh, from Comrades Chess. So, takes 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 with the knight and of course we see knight to f6 after knight to f6 then we have this move queen to e2 standard move when the knight takes the queen picks and of course we have this knight coming up and then we have bishop c4 of course this is the standard opening trap which we expect that the queen cannot be the queen cannot be touched after the move knight to e5 the queen cannot be touched uh, this is supposed to be red. Yeah, the queen cannot be touched because of the checkmate. So I believe um, Kennedy knew this. Of course, we expect e6 on board, and the queen steps back from danger. And then we have bishop to d6. The game continues with d4, and then we have castling on board, and then bishop to g5. This position is not so common at master level, but of course at amateur level we see it opening more occasionally. So we have queen, queen check, then we have the move c3. And then the knight jumps around off the hook, and then we have bishop d2. The queen falls back, and then we have long castling. Of course, before long castling, the most common systems go for the short castling, but please note that long castling is also possible. I believe this guy Ben wanted a fight in this position, so he goes for long castling. Going for long castling, then we see the move f5. Of course, trying to stretch up and attack the king, attack the the queen side. So we see the bishop falling back earlier, and then we see the break on uh, the break on c5. Of course, trying to put some strikes on this king. This king should leave. Of course, Ben saw that the king left immediately. Take take, and then we see the knight coming into play. The knight comes in timely. Of course, we see Kennedy Trevor seems to have. A, an initiative on the queen side but of course it's not yet decisive there's no serious advantage with this uh, in this position then we see the take take and of course trying to checkmate the the black king immediately of course that wouldn't be allowed uh, trevor immediately threw the pawn and then we see the queen retreating back and then we see bishop takes the knight queen takes the knight ben decided to take off the knights uh, sorry the queens of the board at this moment of course uh, the position was quite solid and this is quite kind of a draw and uh, still a fight still far from a win from either sides so we see the rook lift and then we see the pawns being sealed uh, with f4 and then the pawn being pushed so we see the bishop falling back of course we know that uh, ben really wants to get this bishop well placed and uh, striking on the king side so we see bishop out and then we see the we see the bishop striking on the on the on the on the king side. Yes, the rook protects the the pawn, and then we see rook attacks the pawn. On of course, I think Ben really wanted to get this pawn, ignoring this uh, ignoring this pawn. Of course, expecting that uh, if he takes, and uh, there there are also these are uh, uh, threats on the board. Nevertheless, Trevor picks the pawn, and of course, instead of what we expected was this, but then he goes for the attack. Of course, trying to expand on the other side and seeing the possibility of lining up the rooks on the on the seventh rank, the dream the dream 
the dream the dreamt seventh rank so we see the bishop falling back and the king stretching to a1 and then the rook coming in and then the rooks coming in of course i don't think trevor would have really wa wanted this but you see the rooks coming in pretty fast and then and then we see this rook coming to a1 sorry a8 of course aligning the rooks with the ballery and then we see some pressure on the on the queen side magana just continues with this attack and then we see this amazing sacrifice of course i see that trevor seemed to have uh, and uh, rather miscalculated at this point thinking that uh, when when the storm is over he'll have this pawn push and then he'll have this uh, desired checkmate but of course this uh, this didn't really happen as expected after after the pawn push we see this series of checks and uh, ben really throws in these uh, threats and then the, the then the the disorienting the the discouraging rook to a7 which uh, which throws trevor off balance i believe he miscalculated not counting this not calculating this uh in between move so this in between move uh blocking the rook disconnecting the and and crushing all the hopes for a checkmate really crushed his uh his plans of course he has to take and then take and then the bishop falls of course but then we see an endgame with the rook versus uh rook versus rook versus bishop but with all these threats and the strength of the rook we see that this was already lost for trevor and uh with the king just getting getting closer things just fell apart and at this point trevor resigned so that was a very good start with uh from the kenyan champion uh from the kenyan star and kenyan candidate master magana ben uh for, for his first game and his first win very positional and quite a slow squeeze so we shall have other games uh every day as we see from mombasa open see you and bye